Here you go, that Florida weather. We got a Biggie coming in, Adalia. Just a little uh, tropical storm a few hours ago is now a major hurricane over 100 mile an hour winds. Well, we're starting to get the significant out of bands on the west coast of Florida. Some of them even bearing in to Dade County on the Everglades side. Pretty heavy storms right there. It's tracking pretty fast. Looks like it's going due north at this point. So it looks like if you're south Florida, you might be out of the woods here. Uh, I usually don't like to make a prediction like that until it has totally crossed its horizontal position. So we're just about to make that call right there. But this storm is something else. The storm is something different. And I don't know if you're going to see any spaghetti models of what other people are predicting with the storm. But according to the data that's coming in, this storm is primed to do a loop. So this is going to hit west coast of Florida. Go over Florida. It's going to loop around. It's going to hit the east coast of Florida. So it's going to weaken and then it's going to strengthen again. It's going to loop around and from the loop it looks like it's going to hit uh, Central East Florida as well when it loops around. I'm going to show you some of that documentation coming up. So this is your latest weather forecast from Hurricane Adalia. You can see some of the convection. It's starting to get a defined eye. In that central part, you're starting to see the central red dark bands on the outside to the right. It's actually going to go back into the Gulf. Get this, and then it looks like it go hit head and hit Texas. So t take a look at what this storm is going to do here. It's going to hit at 959 pressure. Go over Georgia, South Carolina. It's swinging out South Carolina. It's coming back down, fellas. And it looks like it's going to slam right into the eastern coast of Florida. That pressure is going to be significantly weakened at that time. But it's going to also bring a lot of rain over into Texas. Whoa. It's not good uh, for the property insurers, as you know. A lot of the insurance agencies have been abandoning Floridians, and the, the costs are extremely high. Me myself, I pay about ten grand a year just for wind insurance, and that's because usually the lower you are in the state, the higher the chance the hurricane can be. So the codes are even higher, the prices are even higher. Up coast yard of coast is a factor as well. Maybe unless you're in that central Florida area, your cost might go down a little bit. But this is bad news if we can encourage other carriers to leave the area. And you know a lot of these insurers, they don't want to pay up. And there's a lot of people, they just, they paid out their rent. So by law, they don't have to have wind coverage. They have to have flood coverage. But... Some of those people, a lot of them are taking chances because they simply can't afford five to ten grand a year just for wind insurance. So if this hits uh, certain people, those people are screwed. So let's hope the storm can stay below a three before it hits Florida, but that's some really hot water that it could be a four. So it looks like there's several spaghetti models that are putting this storm, as you can see, looping back and hitting Florida. So it looks like here it says 973 MBs, but one of the forecasts I was showing it was hitting at 957 MBs. So the pressure going to be pretty low. Just another thing to keep in mind is that this is going to be hitting, you know, maybe early tomorrow morning. There's going to be a supermoon. So the power of the supermoon and the power of the storm will converge and you're going to have even more significant flooding than usual. So if you're near the ocean, you're near a canal, you're near lakes, you're in low landing areas where the track of the storm, 
definitely get to higher ground. One little thing about Florida a lot of people don't know is that there's a central ridge, just like the bone of Florida, the backbone of Florida, runs into central Florida. Look for a place called Highlands County. Uh, there's a ridge that goes through Highlands County, several counties actually in the middle of Florida, almost near to the Orlando area, all the way down to Lake Placid. You're getting over 120 elevation feet. This is the highest points in Florida. So seek refuge in a place like that should ever a tsunami or major storm event happening that's probably going to be your safest bet so just hunker down if you have to if you're away from the coast get away from the coast if you're near the coast make sure you're in a place that's high up because uh this flooding is can get pretty serious i'm not going to guesstimate but it's it's going to be significant when you have a super moon and a hurricane Looks like it's they're projecting a three, so just let's just say it could be a four, strong four. Because I don't like to go with the low balling of what the news could go. I don't want to scare you either, but it's better to be prepared than unprepared with the major storm bearing down on you. And I hope you got some shutters up. If you don't have some shutters up, you're boarded up. If you're not boarded up, then you probably don't want to stay there if you're in a trailer. Might want to just uh, find a friend you can hang out with. You know, there, there's a joke that goes around that uh, if the Waffle House is closed, then you, you definitely want to leave town. Waffle House usually stays open even during bad storms. Hey, maybe hit the Waffle, Waffle House instead of that trailer. You know, if it's going to have one of these emergency radios, one you can crank if you have to. You're going to be expecting major power outages. We're going to be having, uh, you know, who knows how long it's going to take for them to clear debris. For there to, for the electricity to get back on, there's going to be a lot of trees hitting these power lines. You know, maybe you got, get some grill ready, you know, get that grill prime, get some, get some firewood, get some charcoal, get that lighter fluid. You know, make sure you have several lighters on hand, some candles. You know, let's ride this one out, get some, you know, get some ice going because you're going to lose power. You know, what else can you do? You can, you know, have have a plan, get full gas, maybe get a couple gas cans going. Uh I don't know, maybe get that generator now because they're probably clearing out as we speak. Home Depot lows. Very good to have a generator. You're gonna be one of the lucky people to have one because as it stands, looks like the Appalachian part, the the panhandle is gonna get whacked. But you never can trust these models, they can be two hundred miles off. So I would say you know, best bet if you're anywhere in Florida, you know, just uh, take precautions, start start making a plan now. So I'm just going to, if I see anything different in this models, I'm going to be following up with you tonight. If we see any significant changes, any anything confirming that this loop is going to happen, we're also going to be on top of that. And I'm reporting here from South Florida, Australian Milks. Stay safe, stay secure. Till the next time.